God bless you, uh, everyone. I just, this is Pastor Robert Porter from New Life Christian Center Ministries. I just want to say to you that uh, New Life Christian Center Ministries is here to help restructure your thought life and to create uh, a new way of thinking in your life. It's here to help move you forward in the things of God and to show you that you are in a position of leadership the way God wants you to be. So join me, listen to uh, some of the teachings and uh, learn how that God wants you to move forward. So God bless you and I'll see you soon. God bless you. Thank you for joining me this Sunday. Uh, let us pray and get right into what God has for us. Father, we thank you and we bless you for this word today. Lord God, let it be all of you and none of me. Thank you for what you have revealed to us and the things that you've been showing us so far. And we bless you for it and we glorify you for it. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Now, I want to say again, um, the name of this message is Living in the Power of God. And we must understand uh, when we are living in the power of God, you know, we must uh, constantly remain teachable and have the Holy Spirit teach us on certain things. So in order to live in God's power, we have to remain teachable. And, and so um, let me turn there in um, Romans 12, 2. And it says, and be not conformed. To this world, be not conformed to this world, be not conformed. So in other words, um, last time I taught, I taught about uh, the platforms and what a platform is and what a platform uh, uh, portrays. And um, so the platform that you, the platform that is manifested will manifest itself. It, you will know what type of platform operating certain things. As we look at the world, the things are getting darker and things are getting, you know, um, more deceitful, you know. So in other words, the world is getting more and more wicked as, as things go on. So we know who is the uh, uh, governing factor of the platform that we are you know, that the world is operating in now. Now, God has given us um, a way to escape this particular platform that is operating now. I mean, you just, just see it. The, the, the kindness of hearts, the people hard as cold, people don't care about, you know, no one but themselves. And it, it's just, you, you know, um, uh, you can literally see uh, the, the the government platform and it's all and I explained it last week concerning, you know, what the enemy have done based on Adam and Eve, how he meditated on them and studied them. And next thing you know, he tricked them out of or stole the platform that they was on for God to uh, and and they gave their platform up to him. So now. You know, in Romans 12, 2, it says, and be not conformed to this world. Be not conformed to this platform. Be not conformed to this platform, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. By the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is good and acceptable, perfect, perfect will of God. We discussed that somewhat as well but i love how this author put this he says the the most significant discovery in life is the discovery of purpose the the most important is god's purpose so in um uh, dr uh miles moreau late dr miles moreau wrote this he says Wherever purpose is, is not known, abuse is available. So in other words, when you are, let me read it again. Wherever purpose 
is not known, then abuse is available. So, in Romans 12, 2, when God says, again, it says, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is good and acceptable, perfect will of God. So in other words, when you are operating in the good and acceptable, perfect will of God, that means you are operating in God's purpose. You see, God's purpose, not your purpose, God's purpose. You see, now, again, um, the purpose that God has designed for us, again, is in Genesis. So it says that, uh, let me finish reading this. It says, the book of Genesis of God's purpose for creating the human race can be found in the first two chapters of Genesis. Then it says, the Genesis account underscore God and her motivation to create a physical planet called Earth and to create a spirit children that he can collectively call Adam. God created physical bodies and made of dirt to house these spirits, this spirit, not spirit, spirit, being so that he could become a legal residence in, in guardians of a visible world. So in other words, I love the way this author put this. So we have became guardians of this visible world that we that we are in right now. He says, now listen, he also says, from the beginning of our physical world was the design of a spiritual colony of the kingdom of heaven. It was never designed to be a habitation of demons and foul spirits. So in other words, uh, this earth was designed for us to control it. So when God created us, he created us to rule this world. He did not want this, this earth to be inhabited, something that he created by demonic power, by demons. Now, if, um, I'm going to just step back here for a minute. Just, just, just go back on something. In 1 Samuel's, 1 Samuel, 5, 1 and 2. It says the Philistines brought an ark of God from Ebenezer and Ashdod. They took the ark of God into a house of Dagon and set it beside Dagon. Their idol. When, when Ashton rose early on in, in the morning, behold, the dragon has fallen upon his face on the ground before the ark of the Lord. So they took dragon and set him in the place again. So in other words, I've read that first saying, this is, this is my point. Demonic activity or anything that's dealing with uh, 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 Satan and his government cannot, cannot stand side by side with God government. You see, it cannot. So when God created this earth for us and for us to run it, uh, this earth was not designed to be run under uh, an evil governmental factor. You see, it was designed to be run under a righteous order so that God can bring, again, heaven to earth. He says in Genesis 26, 28, we are told that humans were created by God to be an ambassador and a representative of God's kingdom. Of God's kingdom. This is what you've been created for. God the idea by making it a, a, a colony of heaven of a heavenly kingdom. Says simply, humans were created to rule or exercise dominion over the world 
of matters on the behalf of God. So in other words, we are here to dominate dominion, to have dominion over this earth. So when I was talking about platforms and how the enemy uh, fights for this platform, this is why we battle so much. This is why. Because we are a part of God's divine uh, plan or God's divine purpose to bring heaven to earth. Could God Almighty, y'all heard that? So in other words, y'all are not here by accident. You all have a divine, a divine appointment or divine set up by God to help bring heaven to earth. Now, let me finish reading some more of what this author was saying. It says, he says, <clears throat> consequently, our purpose on earth is intriguingly, uh, uh, is intriguingly, God tried and to fulfill our prophetic assignment as an official representative of the kingdom of God. Anything short of filling our ambassador assignment or manifesting the kingdom of God here on earth as it is heaven is a growth is a violation of God's purpose. It's a violation of God's purpose. It's a violation of God's purpose. So anything that we're doing outside of helping God to fulfill his purpose here on earth, if we, are, we are out of order. Now, here it is. When we understand that when we are here because God has a plan and a purpose for us, what it does is it restructured the order of our soul. In other words, it brings us into the mindset of we have a we have work to do and we have something that needs to be accomplished and established by God. Now, the dominion, our dominion mandate was created was 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 written in genesis 1 26. i'm going to read that again this is so god created man in his own image in his own in his image wait a minute let me go back again so god created man in his own image and the image of god he created him male and female he created them then god blessed them and god said to them be fruitful, multiply, fulfill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish, sea, birds of the air and every living thing that moves on earth. When you operating in that, in that kind of power or that kind of authority, that means you are standing on a higher platform. You see, now the enemy... He has been studying God's people. He has been uh, uh, studying you. He knows what it would take to tempt you. He knows what it would take to stop you from moving in the things that God has called you to move in. But see, all he's trying to do is to get you to connect to something that's familiar with him so he can hold it against you or hold your bloodline. Now, as I start reading... I realize that not only do I have to cleanse my soul, but I have to cleanse uh, and remove the altars from my old, from my bloodline that may be bringing in certain things that is stopping me from fulfilling what God has created me to do. Let me read on. It says, on the sixth day of creation, God created his masterpiece. Mankind, we, we are God's masterpiece. You see, there is nothing like us. He created both in the image of God, spiritual sense, and in the likeness of God's DNA. So we have God's spirit in us. Hallelujah. And we also are created with God's DNA in us as well. Hallelujah. 
there was no other creature that could can complete man's unique position. There is nothing here on this earth that can complete uh, that can uh, can take our position. So the enemy knows that when we operate in our full dominion and within our full power, just as I read to you concerning the Ark of the Covenant, well, you know, uh, how their idol, the dragon, had fell down before the Ark of the Covenant because of the power that God possessed. Uh, 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 so it, it, it tore down that demonic structure. Well, folks, what I'm saying to you is that God, he is ready to tear down any demonic structure or anything that has been holding you back. You see, you are not designed to carry the weight or the burden the enemy wants to place on you. Hallelujah. He wants to use you up, see what he can get from you. And then once he use you up, then he want to cast you aside. Again, you look at, uh, at Psalms 143, where um, uh, his soul, he felt as though that he was dead. So that's because the enemy had used him, had stolen his platform and, and, and treated him any way that he wanted to treat him in order for him to, in order for him so he can advance, you know? So now let me finish reading this. And I'm not going to be much longer. In Genesis 1.26, I've read that. And God said, let them have dominion, which comes from the Hebrew word manalot, which means ruler and rulership or kingdom according to God. Kingdom according to God. And then it says, this dominion mandate is upon mankind and will rest on four, four, four pillars. I call these pillars pillars of dominion. Now, here's the four pillars that our dominion is rested on. One of them is be fruitful. Number two is multiplying. Number three is um, uh, filling or replenishing the earth, subduing the earth. These are the four pillars of dominion that are interlinked. First, being fruitful suggested that God created man as a walking warehouse of a seed. Oh man. So we have the power and the ability to do what God has called us to do. See, when Jesus died and he had that fight with the enemy and he had taken the keys, in other words, he had taken everything back that the enemy has stole. The only way the enemy can get to us is through our soul. How? The same way he dealt with Eve, he tempt Eve the same way he can deal with you. If he can tempt you to come into agreement with him, what he will do, he will take that agreement and he will give, uh, he will go into the course of heaven and he will, uh, <clears throat> claim that he has a legal right because you have come into agreement with him on a certain situation or certain things. People, if you're seeing things that you don't like manifesting around you, start speaking against it. Don't come into agreement. Stop uh, uh, coming into agreement by what you say, uh, with, by, what, by what you see. In other words, if you're seeing something that you're not in agreement with, don't speak it out. Speak the opposite of what you see. Get your heart in a position where you can start taking dominion over the very thing that the enemy has tried to steal from you. You see? So when, you, when we're moving in that type of power, in, in that type of position that God has set for us, the enemy will not be able to stand. He will have to bow to you. He would have to bow to you. Why? It's because what you are doing, you are manifesting God's government. 
you are bringing God's kingdom here to this earth. Hallelujah. 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 Let me finish. It says the warehouse. This means no human was born empty. Wherever their discovery, their seed bag or not, their seed bag contains seeds of dominion. However, in this chapter that I've been reading to you, he talks about, I will show you the four pillars of dominion and are connected by the tabletop called an altar, an altar. So everything, so when the enemy was fighting Adam and Eve, this is what he was after. He was after the, the, everything that God has set up being fruitful, multiplying, um, uh, replenishing the earth and subduing it. He, he wanted all the resources of the earth. He wanted everything. Uh, so praise God for Jesus because he's given us uh, what the enemy has stole. He turned around and given this back to us. So <clears throat> now let me say this. Let me, I'm going to finish reading this. He says, the will, I will show you that these four pillars of dominion are connected by a tabletop called an altar, which binds them together while serving as an interface between our world and, and the supernatural world. In other words, this is why our soul has so, is so important. Because we are the interface between the world and the supernatural, our soul. God uses us to bring his thoughts, his suggestions, his ways to us so we can uh, um, convert it and bring it to or bring it here on this earth. It's all about living uh, the dominion, living under God's uh, dominion and under God's governmental order that he has set for us. He wants us to get and take dominion over this world so we can take our rightful position that God has for us. So we can bring heaven to earth. So people that are in trouble can be helped. So, so in other words, for us to be able to tear down the structure and the, the, the order that the enemy has set up for our lives personally and for someone else's life. Well, this is uh, Pastor Porter. I want to say thank you so much for joining me this Sunday. Um, we will pick up again on this uh, next week. So God bless you. Thank you. And I will see you soon.